Welcome to Makuta. I'm Stu Kaplan. We're going to show you today how we make the science of micromolding. So come on along with me into our 22,000 square foot facility located in Shelbyville, Indiana. We are in a class 8, ISO class 8 clean room. We have created the perfect environment for the science of micromolding. This facility was made just to make tiny little plastic parts. Here we are in front of our Sumitomo 75 ton rotary machine, custom made for Makuta. What you have before you are two of the finest machines, almost like children for me. Take a look at the rotary mechanism that's moving the mold. Every time that rotates, we get four parts off this machine. Then what you'll notice is that there is a robot coming and picking the parts and the runners the next move does all the inspection. There are two cameras, it'll look at each part, and this all takes place in 21 seconds. And in that 21 seconds, if that inspection system sees one bad part, it'll eliminate that part and it'll package the next three. That is so exciting for us. 21 seconds and we get that done. And it gets even better. This all will take place. Everything you see here takes place at night without anybody here. Where are the people? That's just it. Our people are thinking, our people are researching. They are working on the science of micro molding. So we don't keep them in front of the machines. How many of you have ever changed a cartridge on a printer? Everybody? Well, inside there, what you don't realize, there are tiny little gears, tiny little bearing retainers. What those parts do is enable that carbon to be rotated on an, on an aluminized rod 360 degrees exactly. Some of those bearing retainers hold concentricity callouts or roundness of plus or minus seven microns. And the wall thicknesses on those parts, it's only 152 microns. If those parts are not running exactly round and therefore that rod orbits then what you would get, instead of getting a, a document out of your printer, you'd get a piece of artwork, basically. Let me remind you that the diameter of a human hair is between 60 and 80 microns. What we're holding here is a concentricity or roundness of seven microns on wall thicknesses of only 152 microns. Our molds are quite a bit different than most of the molds that are built. Instead of machining out a whole core cavity, our molds are all made with inserts. Some of these inserts would look like shimstock to you. They can be 200 microns in thickness and various shapes. And what this does is helps us not only with replacement of core components, but also with venting. When a new mold comes into us, we tear that mold absolutely apart. We measure every piece. What we'll do is develop a database that enables us to keep track of the wear on those components. We don't wait for a mold component to go out of spec before anything critical happens to the mold component and or the mold. We're able to replace a component. We guarantee our molds to 1.2 million shots. Are you aware of how small the parts are that Makuta produces? You're looking at gears that have a space between them of 77 microns, parts that are used in medical devices. But I have no way for you to understand, really, the scale of these parts. So we made this. This is a 300 times built up model of that little gear we were just showing. Thanks very much for touring Makuta. If you are looking for something that works in very small spaces, you come to us. We will be your design platform for functionality, micron tolerance components that help you solve your problem. At Makuta, microns matter and so do you.